Today we celebrate the saint of the golden words. How do you say that in Greek? Chrysologus. Saint Peter Chrysologus was known for his golden tongue and the glorious words that came out of his soul at a time when there were abuses and vestiges of paganism in his diocese. He was determined to do battle with them and eliminate them entirely. What was his principal weapon? The short sermon, and guess what? Many of them have come down to us. They do not contain great originality of thought. However, they are full of moral applications, sound in doctrine, and historically significant in that they reveal life in 5th century Ravenna. So authentic were the contents of his sermons that some 13 centuries later he was declared a doctor of the church by Pope Benedict XIII. He who had earnestly sought to teach and motivate his own flock was recognized as a teacher of the universal church. He was also the also fiercely loyal to the church, not only in its teaching, but in its authority as well. He looked upon learning not as a mere opportunity, but as an obligation for all, both as a development of God-given faculties and as a solid support for the worship of God. Somewhere around A.D. 450, he returned to his birthplace of Imola in northern Italy, Chrysologus, the golden word man, and that's what we should do. If every word we say contains fidelity to Christ and his teaching, then we also will be Chrysology, people who use golden words because we are always reflecting Christ. God bless you.